some music from LaRue long before the Jonas Brothers hypnotized us with their uh, piercings and tight jeans. Our next guest and their feathered hair ushered a whole generation of girls into womanhood. Now their producer and co-star of a new show called Ruby and the Rockets. You can watch it Tuesdays at 8.30 on ABC Family. Please welcome Shauna and David Cassidy. <laughs> Good. You look good. I have to well, say. Well, it's been, you know, tape. A lot of tape. A lot of tape. You're dressed almost identically. We is, do that uh, usually. We're bucking for an act. <laughs> is that a coincidence? This is, it actually is a coincidence. Thank you, wardrobe. <laughs> yeah. No, we fit them totally separately. Yeah. Uh -huh. In our separate dressing room. <laughs> no one would know. <laughs> You're like the Olsen twin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <On> acid. <laughs> I heard you guys were. Um, I heard you guys were fighting backstage. Is that true? Yes. <laughs> you are, what, are We're you actually not a speaking. Uh, You're not speaking. Would you no. mind telling my brother that uh, <laughs> the next time he chooses to wear a shirt somewhat identical to mine, <laughs> he should clear it with my PR person? Sean, the next time you choose to wear a shirt identical to David's, you should clear it with his PR person. I'll uh, take note of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is, uh, you guys aren't really mad at it's each other over this. It's an angry world song. we live in. Yeah. I'm Jimmy. kicking the shit out of him later. Oh, you are? <laughs> Did you, let me ask you, when you guys were, um, you know, just kids, really, I mean, you really were kids when you, you had all this huge, huge popularity, bigger than, than Demi Lovato and the <laughs> Hannah Montana's and all of them really combined. I mean, really just a huge deal. That's who, the reference? Who got the most, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that's the, that's the comparable, I think that's a comparable, Hannah Montana and, yeah. uh, you know, the Jonas Brothers, those, those kids of today yeah, have yeah. kind of filled that slot there. Who did better <laughs> with the women at that time? Who got more girls? You want to feel this one? No. I'm, I'm handing the ball over Look, to you, buddy. Go ahead. Run with it. Well, I've basically been married since I had pubic hair, so... You have? Yeah. I, I was I kind of the off hand. the shelf for a long time. You, on the other hand, <laughs> seem to have worked your way around the block a couple of times. More than a couple times. I'm on my third. And uh, happily, though, honey, I know you're watching. David... Just the two of us. David, and the you are, chaperone's still with me. So. You are the older brother. Yes. And then, Sean, you saw what was going on with David, and you said, wow, I'd like to get into some of that. True? Yeah. Uh, you know, it seemed like a good job out of high school. Uh-huh. It yeah. seemed like a good one. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you were, like, even younger than that when you, you started doing stuff, That's true. You? Actually, when David was going through all his stuff, I was uh, junior high school and then into high school, and a lot of people asked me about what that experience was like when you were a teen idol and... A lot of women are showing up at your door and so forth. And frankly, in my case, I was kind of locked in a, in a cell. I couldn't get out much. But when I was a little bit younger, I was running around Sunset Boulevard, like 14, 15 years old, with mm. the likes of Iggy Pop and oh, no. yeah, David New Johansson, Dolls. New York Dolls. Yeah, <laughs> That's bad. Cycle sluts. Really? You yeah. all remember the cycle sluts? Uh, Anybody wow. here uh, they remember, remember Keith us. Moon? Keith Moon of, of The Who? Moon, yeah. <laughs> Crazy drummer. A little story about Keith Moon. I'm 14 years old. I'm hanging out at this club called The Rainbow, which is still open for those of you who uh -huh. are dazed and confused. And, and I, I go up to the uh, what was then called the Crow's Nest at The Rainbow, and Keith Moon is there holding court with these two very beautiful 15-year-old girls. Well, I'm 15, and Keith is probably 32 at the time. And he was notorious for liking his cocktails. So he said, why don't we all get back to my house? I'm in. <laughs> so we go down, he calls his limousine, limousine shows up, he puts the two girls in the back of the car, slams the door, and the limo takes off. <laughs> really? And there I am with Keith Moon. He says, where's your car? I don't have a driver's license. I'm not <laughs> old enough to drive yet. So I grab Keith Moon, and I walk him back to my house, take him up to my room. Do you know this guy? <laughs> no. There is a Who poster over the guest couch in my room. I lay Keith Moon down, he passes out, I call all the friends I can find to say, you'll never believe who is sleeping on my couch in my room, it's Keith Moon. He wakes up the next morning, a little groggy, a little hungover, looks around, catches a picture of Shirley Jones, my mother, his mother on the Partridge family in the room, knows her, loves Oklahoma. Uh, no. Uh, no, no, Swear to God. And he wants to play air hockey. We have an air hockey table, so we play air hockey for like two hours. He finishes up, calls his driver, who disappeared the night before, and says, there's two girls still there. All right. And he's gone. <laughs> wow. That was my... Uh, That's crazy. Thank you very much. 
That was my uh, innocent upbringing in Hollywood. <laughs> now, David, did you ever spend the night with Keith Moon? Did uh, you ever have him? Sadly, I did. On your bunk bed? Uh, no, he didn't well, you guys sleep were over. Dating for a while. Yes, yeah, exactly. David, you um, when you were uh, uh, really like at the height of your popularity, you appeared on the cover of Rolling Stone and caused, believe it or not, quite a commotion with this this cover, which seems pretty wholesome now. Now, but at the time, girls it, had not seen men's nipples before. No. This is the first <laughs> look at human nipples that girls had I seen. I actually haven't seen them. <laughs> the context of which that article and, and those photographs, which Annie Leibovitz took, fabulous photographer, mm -hmm. and uh, because the innocence of the time itself and the role I was playing on television and all the other teen stuff that they were, you know, making dolls and lunch boxes and comic books and pillowcases with his name as well as mine, although his came a few years later. The it article... Much more expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he got paid. The, uh, the Rolling Stone itself had such a rock and roll edge to it. Yeah. Um, it, you know, Hendrix, Clapton, you know, The Dead, and all of these guys. So when I appeared there, let alone being naked, I lost, I had my own television, network television special that I lost Coca-Cola, Kellogg's, in one day. And uh, there's no need for violins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it cost me like six million dollars. Wow. It, at that time it was... Uh, well, it's, it, a, it's a lovely picture, though. Yes, it? it Yeah, well, And sure, what about yeah. the insert? Can I see that? Yeah, you can see it, let, sure. Let me see the... Uh, you can see the whole thing if you want. You haven't seen it yet? I've never Seems seen like... it, no. <laughs> I've heard about it. Well, and I'll show you something else it's here. It's called because... the Naked Lunchbox. Sean, this is um, from the a show doll. I used to watch a lot, I used to like a lot, was the Hardy Boys. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Can I... Uh... I don't remember you ever wearing that on the Hardy Boys, I have to say. And why are you holding my guitar? <laughs> well, you know what's funny about this? It's, it's clearly my head, but it's G.I. Joe's body. <laughs> it is. And I, I think every thousandth one had the special... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, All right. well, that's a treat for the young ladies yeah. <laughs> there. Um, so, uh, you guys now, you're working on a show. Yeah, you're the producer of the show. I'm one of the writers and I'm the producer. And David and our other brother, Patrick Cassidy, star along with Alexa Vega in our show called Ruby and the Rockets. David and Patrick play these 80s pop stars, not unlike a Hall & Oates or a... Think Spinal Tap. Spinal Tap, sort of this fictional we duo that we invented uh, that never really got along too well, but are kind of uh, in bed together, whether they like it or not financially. If they want to hit the big time, they got to work together. He's eking out a living at a little Indian casino. Patrick has decided to get married, settle down with the Tawny Katane like dancer that he met in the video shoot. They have a couple of kids, and then Alexa Vega shows up at, at his my doorstep casino. and says, I'm 15, and I'm your daughter, and you don't know well, who I yeah, am. Yeah, I know you guys got big uh, ratings for your premiere. Hey, and, very, uh, very well. ABC Tuesday Family. Night? We Tuesday, have a, night? Tuesday nights. We have a clip here of uh, from the show. Tell us uh, what, what we're going to see Is here. this the uh, uh, Channel of Love? Channel of Love. Yes. yes. Channel of Love. Uh, we, of course, in doing so, want to reflect the fact that we are deeply rooted in the 80s, and we were big pop stars. So we took a lot of the, well, iconic things like cell phones and, uh, you know, the internet and, and, of course, the world-famous channel that was dug and built during the 1980s. The channel between London and Paris? Channel that, London, that one. David's yeah. character loved this idea that you could spend time with a woman in England and France on the same night because oh, of this, the same this night. channel. And he and Patrick <laughs> are, are dressed to the nines. We're see performing. Them yeah. This, as uh, we did in our 1988 or 9 video, and uh, it's uh, a channel of love with, by the Rockets. And Written here by uh, Marsh McCall and Indeed. myself. Take and a look. Ruby and the Rockets. It's a miracle of science, and they're building it for me. Cause I love the girls of London. And the women of Paris It's called the channel The channel of love I want to travel well, There you go, it's called Ruby and the Rockets David and Sean Cassidy uh, Tuesday nights at 8.30 on ABC Family And we're right back with LaRue <laughs>